Hello Capricorn and welcome back. I want to wish you all a happy birthday. If I missed it, happy birthday to you. Wishing you all blessings upon blessings. Capricorn, this is going to be a general collective message for mid-January 2024. Let's see what the most important message is for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, wherever you have it. I hope all is well with you, Capricorn. Today, Mercury enters your sign, along with Mars already being there. So this is about, let's get the game rolling here, right? Teamwork is dream work here, Capricorn. So it's a great time to go ahead and put those plans into action. It's let your ambitions take over. Omega, you are definitely an Omega here, right? For a lot of you here, get ready for victory here. Your desire is coming to fruition. Keep up the good work. You are starting off with victorious energy here, which tells me now, Capricorn, this is a sense of self-achievement. You've shedded past versions of yourself now. So when it comes to your self-esteem, this is a boost of confidence, right? This is about get ready to enjoy the victorious energy, okay? This is also a feeling of getting ready to uh, step into a season now where you feel that oh, you could breathe, right? Pluto will be transiting finally from 2008, your first house, as it moves into your second house. Now, what does the second house represent for you? This is victory when it comes to money income, your work, your daily routines, your value systems, your work ethics, the material possessions, and your priorities. So when it comes to victory energy here, like I feel like you're moving into the second house now, which tells me this is going to be a very victorious time for you, leading off, definitely. So beautiful energy, Capricorn. Let's dive into the moonology and see what beautiful energy is here for you capricorn like i feel with the sun in capricorn on the 20th conjuncting pluto at 29 degrees it's a feeling of take one last look at how far you have come now because the bravery is freaking volumes here with the victorious like the energy is here telling me it's a beautiful motivation for you like reaching a goal in your life here, okay? Determined to win. Like you are victoriously moving through. Wow, okay. Let me get something here. Show me more for Capricorn. Adjustments are being required here. So there's the energy of a need to be flexible, to be adaptable to any changes. Adjusting might be like when you need to get out, you know, the, the tools and make some necessary adjustments. This could be like redos, okay? It could be around the home or this could be just adjusting some perks here when it comes to businesses or your career projects, you know, when it comes to finances. It's also making the necessary changes, okay? So it feels like, yes, this is a good time, especially with the taskmaster, which you are, being teamed up with, you know, the general energy of the, taking authority with Mars. I'm sure that you're feeling the push here, okay? A renewed determination, let's call this, because this transit with Mars and Mercury in the sign of Capricorn is the kind of energy get re you can climb mountains, right? This is climbing mountains here and not letting your past hold you back anymore, south node. For some of you, your south node is in Capricorn, okay? So this tells me the opposite of that is the north node with Cancer, okay? So like I feel for a lot of you, you've gone through a lot of tests when it comes to your commitments. That is be it in relationships, business partnerships, or overall, you've gone through that transformation in your first house with your identity. So when it came to things that you were committed to, like I feel, get ready to prepare yourself for one of the most amazing, exciting, venturous times of your life. Okay? Capricorn, you are your only limitations to the success that's here. 
They are possibilities that are endless for you now. This is your life's work, your goals, your achievements. The Pluto transits into your um, house now, which is going to give you, like I feel, this lift off. Do not let the past hold you back here, okay? So this is about prepare yourself, okay? Your mind, your body, right? Your well-being at this time to get a clear focus now on what this purpose is of yours because you're getting a very big confident boost here, okay? So breaking out of the past, what would that mean? Breaking out of any energies that would be like being in a rut or breaking out of old programming, right? And prepare yourself for the most exciting time of your life, okay? So when it comes to your commitments here, this could be an overall energy here that's also saying breaking out of the ruts of any relationships from the past, right? This could be breaking free from a poverty mind consciousness. This could be breaking free from the illusion, right? Breaking free, like a feeling here of, programming, right? Limiting beliefs about yourself, right? It's a feeling here of making major changes, okay? Because you've already done the, this, this energy with the self. So your appearance could be changing. The way you look, your approach to life has changed. Yourself, your identity, you know? That's what I'm feeling around this. But now you're moving into a house that's going to be more commitment in these areas that bring victory for you. So I'm excited, Capricorn. This is going to be for Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. South node, we see that that's here. Now the south node is in Libra. So you could have Libra in your chart. The south node is in the partnership zone. Okay, for me. It's also at a point where it's like you're taking one last look and you're making the necessary adjustments. You're taking one last look and you're ready for the necessary adjustments. You're ready to begin the process of healing, right? The Three of Swords is a feeling here of forgiveness, releasing pain, and getting grounded now. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, you've processed when it came to your identity, Capricorn. Pluto was in your first house of your identity. So the role that you play, whether you were married, whether you were in a, a position in your career, you went through some changes. Okay, I thought that you are definitely on the correct page now when it comes to your well-being. Queen of Pentacles is all about improvement on oneself, stability, commitment now, okay? Healing from the heartaches of the past. You're done with that part of your identity. Queen of Pentacles, you're done, like I said, get ready for the most exciting part of your life. Victory is here. Your desire is coming to fruition, my loves. Great job done, Capricorn. The Ace of Pentacles is a solid offer. Something that leads to long, long-term money. A solid gain in life is here. Not letting anything hold you back. Investing in yourself. But there's a solid opportunity. And you know that you have the Midas touch. So, luck is on your side here. Don't be afraid for this business adventure when it comes to something you know that that will be golden queen of pentacles she's staying like i'm feeling this is you man or a woman this is telling me let's see five of pentacles from rags to riches six of pentacles you're done with the five of pentacles now capricorn this tells me you broke free from poverty mind consciousness breaking free from the illusion we are never separated from god god is within us breaking free from false programming from limiting beliefs breaking free from scarcity never having enough this is a feeling of capricorn just be 
All you got to do is just be grounded into this, <coughs> which is earth. It tells me you are breaking free with the king of swords and the six of pentacles. You are not going to be in relationships that were breadcrumbing you, one-sided. Things that you were dealing with here, like I feel, it's like definitely the ego has landed, right? King of swords, you can see clear now, having your head clear above the clouds okay so like i feel you're the only one who could stop or limit yourself from the success you can achieve by affirming i am limited i am limitless right if you felt limited no more now you know your worth now you know your place this is your throne be committed to what this is because this is your money your finances here this is about a finished project. You finish on top here, okay? It's like the feeling here, it, it's like by breaking free from the five of pentacles, you've gone through a dark night of the soul here. You've gone through some tough times where you were thrown out of homes and situations, feeling like the ugly duckling of the family or the outcast of the family. You've done with relationships where like I feel you've got this clear mindset. You've learned some big lessons here. For some of you, like I feel the king of swords is somebody who's very intellectual, very truthful, right? Learned a valuable lesson. Can be a rude truth here of cutting something out. But what needs to be cut out is the feeling of fear, the feeling of false programming, the fear of limiting yourself. Like a feeling here of breaking free from limited beliefs. The Six of Pentacles, there's definitely a feeling now where balance can come in because the Six of Pentacles represents generosity, equal give and take now, okay? And this is about choosing you, right? Choosing you overall and breaking free from patterns, old beliefs that are here. So that's what I wanted to say very much so because I know that first house with Pluto, oof, you know, I could only imagine. So we're going to put you right on top because you're meant to be in the spotlight victoriously coming out of something. Lift your heads up, my dears. Here you go. This is a brand new sparkling fresh start. Page of Wands is a yes. It's time to go. It's time to be optimistic. Like you're opening your mind up now. You're releasing pain. And the Page of Wands tells me there's Mars saying, let's go for it, Capricorn. Let's, let's see what we can discover now by being charming, by being more outgoing, right? And this is about, you know, being guided. You're being guided. Could be dealing with an air sign here too. I wanted to say that. Page of Wands is right there. I'm just going to go to the where we're going to go in the near future. What mid-January looks like. Six of swords, not letting anything hold you back anymore. Having a clear vision of where you're headed now. The six of swords is a decision that was painful but necessary to do. But having a more clear view. Because the six of swords is a feeling where healing begins now. So for some of you, you're getting ready to travel. You could be getting ready to make a decision. A move is being made here. Strength, my dears, because the strength is, it takes strength to love. It takes strength to tame ourselves. It takes strength to overcome a situation. You've had to overcome a very difficult, uh, like you have a story here, right? It takes courage to master our emotions. It takes patience, which gives us wisdom. You're overcoming something here by being steadfast, strength, Leo, energy. And eight of wands, eight, eight is here for you. Things begin to like speed with time. So get ready to go for it. The eight of wands tells me suddenly unexpected. There's your boost. Not letting anything hold you back anymore. Travel is here. Sudden unexpected. Uranus will be going direct in Taurus on the 26th of this reading. Be ready for that change. This could be the change you wish to see within yourself now because your mind has changed.
changing your views, changing your perspective, okay? Overcoming some kind of situation and you're getting ready to go for it. King of Wands is at the bottom of the deck, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. This is a, a natural born leader. King of Wands is somebody that cannot be held back. Okay, they're very, like, I feel charming. They'll charm their way, but they ain't saying no. This is someone that will, that refuses to say no. So this king of wands. <coughs> and the full. Look at, I just said, Uranus goes direct, coming out of retrograde. And Taurus, be ready for this change. Get ready with Uranus. It's going to definitely boost you up making a bold decision, which is Uranus and Taurus freedom. This is, you're free to fly. You're free. The ego has landed. It's time, like I feel, for this to take off in this direction. You're headed in a new direction, Capricorn. Nothing holding you back anymore. You're inspired to take this new leap of faith. It feels like. You're breaking free from a, a difficult ending. There's that Ten of Swords. There's that strength to overcome the end of a difficult phase in your life. The trauma is behind you now. You've been patiently waiting for this day. This is the day, like I felt that you've been waiting for, this chapter, which is one of the biggest shifts we are having in January, is sudden changes, Pluto transits. It leaves your first house and goes to your second house. Pluto leaves Capricorn. I'm sorry, Pluto leaves Capricorn and goes into Aquarius, which is your second. Which tells me this is definitely a monumental step for you that you're taking. Okay, show me what could be the challenge for Capricorn. Yeah, I feel like I just shifted. You're going to feel a shift. You're going to feel like like a weight off of your shoulders is taken off of you. You're going to feel the shift, Capricorn. If anyone's going to feel it, like I was just taken to Aquarius for some reason. Sudden change, you know. Six of Wands. You get the confidence that you needed because six of wands and there's the king of wands again. So the high priestess, the, the knight of cups and all in the position of what was challenging you. You had, you needed to listen to your inner voice. You've been in this, this energy here of spirituality, astrology, tarot, high priestess not trusting your intuition, but you knew something was going on here. And when it came to love, Knight of Cups, there was something here where it was unrealistic, right? Somebody here was very jealous. Yeah, you were dealing with some kind of obsessiveness or jealousy or controlling person, right? When it came to love. And then, yeah, they were very popular in the community, right? This person, like I felt, took a fall from grace. Okay, egotism. Somebody here was jealous. Ego, right? Hidden behind a mask. Okay, hiding their their identity. This was somebody who was dark, right? Very negative. Very no confidence. Lack of confidence in their self. Okay, secrets. Okay, hidden agenda. Listening. You know. You know. It, it feels like yeah. That's what it feels like, and it feels like. Now you're recognizing where you need to take this action, King of Wands. Now, what is the advice? What is the advice for Capricorn? For Mid-January. Hierophant. The teacher. This is about your oversoul, your... The Hierophant is Venus and Taurus. This is about what do you believe now? Because this is about money, income, Venus rules this. Work. This is about your family, your priorities, your beliefs. Your uh, This is about your value. When it comes to these areas, because now you're 
now you have learned something here when it comes to your belief in yourself. And like I feel, the ego has landed. Mercury and Venus will be in your in your uh, mid-January. Venus enters the sign of Capricorn. This is when we can start to settle in to loyalty and relate to things when it comes to ourself above all. Because the magician is here also. Mercury enters Capricorn today. So this is about getting serious when it comes to commitments in your, like I feel, if you've been tested, this is a feeling here of getting ready to make a choice and get serious when it comes to your connections, your relationships, coming in alignment, making a choice, right? Gemini's here. One more for your advice. Capricorn and Queen of Wands and the Emperor. So we have a strong authoritative figure here with the emperor. This is father figure, right? This is uh, Mars and Aries. Now Mars is here. Mercury is here. Venus is here. And Queen of Wands is here. It's... There's a stage here. You're the creator. You're the script writer. You're the producer. Create the world you wish to have. Victorious is here the emperor. The emperor is Mars. It tells me you're building a very strong foundation. The queen of wands is, is a feeling with the magician. Yes, you are very skillful, Capricorn. It tells me that, you know, we're entering what's called the year of the dragon. We end, I believe, in February, the end of the year, it will be Cancer. The, I mean, I'm sorry, the rabbit. Now we're moving into the dragon. This is the time in your life where you're getting ready to invest in your spirituality. This could be a spiritual business for some of you. For some of you, with Mars coming in, you're getting serious about something and you're getting ready to ambitiously take charge of it. Like, this is what I see. Taking action on something here, making a bold step forward and going for it. You have a full house um, that's happening in your chart. It's like a big family get together, speaking on our religious views, our views that we value. It's like a, a, a ramped up energy of innovative, like some kind of momentum picks up here suddenly. And it feels like you're being advised to be brave and look at how far you have come. And this is victorious. Like, I can't kid you what, or not. Like, yeah, let's see what the possible outcome. Now, it begins to, like where you're aspired now, to take off. Yeah. Take off the sun. Wow. This is your possible outcome. The queen of, oh my God, the empress and the empress. Oh my goodness. Well, you're meeting your divine counterpart. That's for sure. The queen of wands. We saw the king of wands. There was somebody here that was unrealistic. Okay. This was like a feeling here of somebody that was very jealous, Capricorn, fire sign, could have been an intimate connection that you had with a lover that became, you know, a friend that became a lover. And it feels like this was a connection you left. So let's get to the what's the outcome. Look, Venus enters Capricorn. Get ready to settle in, my dear. And being aligned to somebody here, like I felt with the sun. This is the luminary. This is the highest card you can get. And with the tar and with the tarot card being here, I'm showing you this because I hope you see this. Can you see where you're headed? The possible outcome with the Emperor Mars meets the Empress. Meeting your divine counterpart, the cosmic lovers meet. The King of Pentacles, the Empress and Leo. We got Leo, we got Venus and Taurus, we got Venus and uh, Libra. 
Mars and Aries and Leo. We got Earth here. There you are. There's definitely some gala, gala event that's occurring when it says victorious. It's not kidding around here. The sun is the expression of your soul. It is Leo possesses the sun with the, the energy here. It is the life force vitality. Vi, it's vitality. I can't say vitality, vital. It drives the body down to the cells and our blood. It's life sustaining. So I want to read this, what I picked up. At a micro level, this has to do with your career, a father figure for some of you, or father-like figure, people of authority. This is your ability to express yourself now. The sun is exalted when it's in Aries, during Aries season, because we got the south node. This is where the eclipse season is going to be, with Aries and Libra. And the sun is at its fall when it's in Libra, is what I'm studying. This is only I wanted to share with you. Do your research. There is a restoration, my dears, a regeneration when it comes down to the body, the cells, which you're going through. Get ready for victorious energy. You have met your divine counterpart. This shift is shifting you years in advance with the sun shining on disconnection. This is your empress, your divine. This is the masculine meeting the divine feminine energy. This is about getting ready to connect when it comes to loyalty overall. Okay? You're getting ready to make a decision to invest in something here that's an opportunity of a lifetime. Second house. Money, your value, this relationship overall. Yeah. This is what you've been waiting for, my dears. So get ready for the change of your life because this life changing event leads to victorious professional connections, getting what you want for sure. Venus and Capricorn will be, Venus and Capricorn will trine Jupiter and Taurus on the 28th, I think. It's a great time for a stable partnership putting down roots with someone special here, Capricorn. Mercury in Capricorn is a trine with Uranus and Taurus. Great news for the career and your finances. Um, wonderful energy ending off January. Stepping into this energy, a professional, wow. I'm going to leave it there. Hope this reading helped you, Capricorn. Thank you for tuning in. I greatly appreciate your comments. Sending you all my love.